What's up you guys, it's Jay Carnes. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a bottle caps painting. Now, if you've been following me for a while, way before YouTube, I did a huge bottle caps painting. I think it measured 84 by 48. I'm not too sure I'll put it up, and then I'll put up a picture so you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, I did that, and I did that by gathering a bunch of bottle caps from friends and families, parties, from bars. I just went around, gathered them up, took them home, scattered them on my table and positioned them like you know overlapping and such so that the colors are all balanced and the designs aren't too covered and such but just so that it looks cool i took a picture and then i started one painting the center painting and then i got carried away and i wanted to add two more pieces on the end and yeah that's why it's so huge so it's three big paintings together now i'm not going to do that because i don't have that space but i do want to do another bottle caps painting it's been a while, I've been meaning to do more. I did do, after that one, I think I did two others, um, but they were commissioned pieces. Now, I'm not a crazy alcohol drinker, but I do like Fallout. <laughs> uh, and by Fallout, I mean literally Fallout, like Nuka-Cola Fallout. If you do not know what Fallout is, uh, it's a video game series. It has to do with a post-apocalyptic. And in the game, your currency are bottle caps. I didn't think these existed. My girl found them on Etsy. She ordered them. And in the game, they have these bottle caps, which are the currency of the game, but they come from Nuka-Cola bottles, which is basically the game's version of Coca-Cola. And that is the main bottle cap, which is basically literally like a knockoff version of Coke. And then they have different brands like the Nuka Grape, uh, Nuka Quantum, right there. Yeah, they have different versions. They have this one, I got this one. Like, I was super excited and when she showed me these that she ordered, I was, I was, I was like, yes, you found the perfect set of bottle caps so I can do a new bottle cap painting. And then when they came in, I got even more excited that I wanted to start painting immediately, but I had other projects in the way, so I had to finish those first. I finally finished those and I'm ready to start painting these bottle caps. The very first thing I have to do though is put them on my desk, lay them out, and then organize them, take a picture, take a few pictures actually, so that I can find the right composition with the right balance of colors and I can start painting. So, if you're excited, keep watching. If you're not, go watch something else, I don't know. But, <laughs> let's get started. Alrighty, and now on to painting. And the very first thing I do with every other painting that I do is to sketch out the overall composition, the layout. When it's a big painting like this, I either sketch it out directly on the canvas with a uh, paint, usually in black or something, or I'll project it, but in this case, I'm just gonna draw straight on with the paint. Once the sketching is done, the very next thing to do is a block in. When you're blocking in, you want to use basic colors. In this case, for the caps, you would just want to use like the reds and the black, the orange, you know, silver, black, uh, white, whatever cap color it is, you want to stick to just the basic color. Because just like the composition, you kind of want to know where everything's going to be. You can get more and more detailed and exact with the colors later on. Right now, just basic colors, just to lay everything down. Once the whole blocking in stage is done and everything looks pretty much good to go to the next step, the very next thing to do is add in as much of the highlights in the shadows as possible. This gives it depth. Now in this painting, although the composition should already suggest it, the adding in of uh, highlights and shadows 
will definitely help establish which bottle cap is on top or underneath or side or at an angle and so on. You're gonna still want to keep everything very basic, very loose and just big chunks of shapes because again, you can just get tighter later on. Right now, you just want to know where everything's going to be. As I paint, you'll notice that I like to jump around I like to give certain areas time to dry before I go back into it. I don't stick to one spot until it's finished. I've done it before. It's cool. It, you know, it still gets the job done. But I feel like when I zoom out or I walk away or I come back to it later, it just doesn't feel like I did much. But when I work and jump around the whole painting, I feel like everything's progressing together instead of piece by piece. While you're doing this, you also want to start getting more precise with the colors. You will really want to start sharpening those edges and really getting the overall shape of the bottle caps down. For example, I'll work on the outside of the bottle cap near the ridges and then I'll move on to the design. And then I'll let that dry while I go work on a different bottle cap and then I bounce to the opposite side and then back to a different one and so on while the previous cap dries. And then I will make my way back to the first one that I was working on. And this way, uh, when I step back to take a look at it, I have three or four, maybe five bottle caps, you know, already painted and forming itself instead of just one nicely done bottle cap. And just to clarify, when I say step back i literally mean step back you're you want to step away from the painting and look at the painting as a whole and kind of see where you're messing up kind of where for example in this painting where the bottle caps are a little off where one looks bigger than the other or smaller than the other or uh you know the position of it looks weird the only way you're going to notice that stuff is if you step back and look at it as a whole if you're up close to the canvas painting the whole time and it looks good up close you know, it's happened to me you'll step back and you're like "Ooh, that's a little off i spent so much time on that cap and now i have to just rearrange letters like i'm doing here with the red and then right here with the cherry cap right here it just it happens you have to step back you're not gonna get it perfect right away and that's what i love about acrylic paint i work in layers and if i mess up i just paint over it again and keep going the hardest cap to work on was definitely the orange one in the middle Getting that cap to the correct size, making sure it wasn't too small or too big, and getting that perfect color orange so that it didn't blend in too much with the red cap next to it, that was a bit of a challenge. I painted over it, I want to say maybe four or five times, it took forever. At one point the orange was too dark, at one point it was too light, uh, the letters didn't line up properly, uh, the cap looked way too small compared to the others and then I made it bigger and then it just looked too big so then I shrunk it a little bit it it was the hardest one for sure the easiest cap to work on were definitely the two dark ones in the background the majority of the design were obviously covered by the other caps and there really wasn't that many crazy colors to work with just grays and black and then the white and yellow the yellows and orange were very transparent, white is very transparent, so I had to use a lot of paint for those areas. I went over the Nuka Cola lettering in white, I want to say quite a few times, I want to say a good four or five times in order to get it that really bright white. In this painting, I put down a lot of layers, adjusting the colors, the shapes. I think I must have adjusted each bottle cap minimum two or three times. So after a lot of adjusting, a lot of correcting on colors and such, it's time to get really detailed and really put in those final highlights and, and shadows and just adjusting all the lettering like I'm doing here. I colored over the, the 
sketches of the grapes and I'm going to redo it. Adjust this bottle cap and switch to a smaller brush and add in those fine lines. And the only way to do that is to switch to a smaller brush and really get in there. And now it looks like a bunch of grapes. As you progress into the painting, you'll want to switch between different brushes so that your shapes can get tighter. More details can be put in if you switch your brushes. Now, I'm not saying it's not impossible. It's definitely possible to get a lot of details in with one brush. Don't get me wrong, there's only so much you can do. Those really fine marks, little line uh, brush strokes, those can only be placed in there with thinner brushes, smaller brushes, the liner brushes. You know, you can't use a number 12 flat for the whole painting. When you're blocking in and you're putting in the composition and getting everything down, go for it. One big brush, get everything in. But once you start getting detailed and once you start getting those edges, you know, that's when you want to switch those brushes. By the way, if anybody's watching this and has played the Fallout games, let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite game. My favorite one is Fallout 4 because of all the settlement building and all the crafting and stuff. I'm a sucker for that type of stuff in games, but I will have to say that the one with the best story is definitely New Vegas. I'm sure a lot of people will agree that game is a classic. Also, if you guys are interested, I will have uh, affiliate links to Blake Art Materials in the description. Those links will take you to all of the materials I used in this painting, plus all of my personal favorites. I do get a small commission that helps out the channel. So if you do make a purchase through those, you are helping out this channel. So make sure you check that out. So now that we're getting to the end of the painting, you're going to want to step back for sure, like I mentioned already and you want to look at where you can add any final details to really make the painting feel finished for example here in this orange cap i'm adding in yellow and lining up this orange because i felt like it looked too flat and i'm just i'm brightening it up a little bit because it was kind of disappearing with the other two caps that were on top of it it, it didn't look right i noticed that when i stepped back same thing here Adjusted the letters a little bit, added a little bit of highlights, subtle, nothing crazy, nothing too distracting, just enough to show that that part of the cap is closer to the light. Uh, these little, for example, these little marks of white that I'm adding up close, it looks a little unnecessary and, and just throws it off a little bit. But when you step back, it's so subtle, you don't even notice it. It's like the perfect amount of highlights. So yeah, do this throughout the whole painting. Step back a few times, do a little minor adjustments, highlights, shadows, and so on until you finish the painting. You'll know when it's done. And the very last thing to do is add in my signature. I'm going to kind of blend it into the bottle caps, making it part of the design. That way I don't have it like written across a couple bottle caps in a random corner. I feel like that would just kind of ruin it. But yeah. And there you guys go. This painting is done. I love this painting. This thing stares at me from the other side of the room. It's big, it's bright, it's colorful. Uh, the colors are very poppy. I, I really, really enjoyed this painting. I really enjoyed making this painting. I enjoyed making this video. If you're watching this outro, it's because you watched all the way through and I appreciate you. Um, if you enjoyed it, please leave me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Speaking about subscribing, um, my goal is to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if you can help me out with that, you could also share my videos, maybe to friends and families or post it on social media, whatever is helpful. The other way you could support is by going to the affiliate links in the description. I have affiliate links to all of my favorite art materials there. 
and of course on my website. This painting will be available on my website, jcardinsart.com, along with other paintings, prints, stickers, which by the way, if you are interested in this painting or any of the other bigger paintings and you are a Miami, Florida local, hit me up. I will personally deliver it to you, save me the hassle of shipping it. So yeah, I appreciate you guys very much. First video of the year, sorry it took a little bit. Holidays were a little hectic and of course, I don't know if you can tell I was a little sick, but yeah, by the way, make sure you stay for the final shots. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon.